This is Matt for Into a Boxing. Delighted to be joined once again by Calla Sauerland. First off, before we get going, Calla, um, I've noticed you've been training a lot recently. Have you been losing a bit of weight? You've been, you, I saw your Instagram, some of your last reels. You've been doing a bit in the gym. Have you, yeah. you turned up a bit? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm, I've, uh, I need to, I'm on the comeback trail. Oh, have you slipped? Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I tore my lat, so I um, had to take some time out of the gym. So uh, I focused on legs. It didn't go well because I've done my meniscus now and so I'm now um, yeah it's when you hit 40 you know I'm hitting 45 in two weeks time uh, you know these things happen probably using the wrong form like everyone likes to point out every time I post something from a gym but um, yeah um, we're here, great day for yourselves. Landmark day for Wasserman. I remember it seems like only yesterday deal was announced that you were going to be pushing this with Wasserman and now you're here, Channel 5, Terrestrial TV, um, free to air. Massive audience. How pleased were you with this deal? Uh, who would not be, as a promoter, to be having his stable live on free to air television, having it such a great partner? Um, you know, I think the first card that we've announced today is a is a is a cracker. From, yeah, it's a cracker from top to bottom. Um, you know and that. You know, when you when you come to a press conference, and I was thinking about the way here this morning, and um, I, I, I normally I have to think about well, what I'm going to say about this one, that one, and, but there's not a single fight on the on the card, even like Razor Ali. You know, his storyline. He's only fighting on the undercard, but his storyline is so amazing that when you look at the card, it just adds to it. So every fight adds a layer to it, and, and of course, you know, Udofia Bentley, British title, fantastic fight, um, the return of Josh Kelly, Harlem, Eubank, Masha Dodd, you know, you can go on. Um, so it's uh, it's very very exciting. Yeah, it's a cracking main event. We've often talked about in boxing at the minute wanting to see the best fight in the best, and we're getting a fight. I think um, obviously Richards and Bowatse. It's another cracking fight. This one again. Are we finally starting to see in boxing people having a bit less disregard for protecting that? Oh, in boxing, and just for saying, you know what? Let's let's get these fights made. Let's strike while the iron's hot, because people often talk about building undefeated records, and someone's always got to go. But now it's just about the best fights. I mean, listen, if you if you go at it hard um, as a as a younger professional, you're not going to come out with a zero at the end of your record. Mm. It's just that it, it's yeah. There's unique talents. Floyd Mayweather obviously springs to mind. Rocky Marciano, um, Calzaghi, it, you know, yeah. Calzaghi, Sven Ocker, um, retired, undefeated. But normally those defeats come later. Now, what I think you see more of is the matching comes harder. First of all, there's a different approach to when you turn pro. Um, a lot have stayed in the amateurs longer, some have come from semi-pro. It's, yep. it's, it's not it's not 20 years ago uh, it's, it's, it is a bit different from that point of view but what I think is key um, to develop the careers uh, is to have those sort of fights you know you saw Bentley Cash but now he's fighting against Sudofia and he just had one tough fight he's going to the next one uh, and he might lose that as well and I'm sure he won't be the end of his career and he still could go on to become a world champion. Yeah. It, does, it shouldn't stop you. You need to learn that, that that L isn't the loss, it's the learn as well. And, and I think from that point of view, it's great to see these fights getting made. And, um, you know, you see, but you see also how important it is. We talk about the great British scene at the moment. Well, we've got to be a bit careful. We don't get ahead of ourselves. If you look at some of the names who are supporting that, you've got, you know, Fury White. Yep. You've got AJ out against Uzik, um, you've got um, Eubank Jr, yep. um, and then, you know, Kel Brook, fighter two left, but it starts to get a bit thin. Yeah. So how do we get that next generation? Do we just build them up fakely and, and just say, well, he's got 30 and 0, he's fantastic, he's from somewhere in the UK and that's the storyline. Yeah. That, no. They come out of fights like these ones, mm -hmm. where you start to grow, you, that's, that's the way it happens. And I think that, you know, there's, there has been a, a slight reliance on, 
on artificial records yeah. to get them up to Padded, yeah. big fights, yeah. pay-per-view fights yeah. even, and then it's suddenly like, hold on, he's nowhere near ready. Uh, yeah. um, I think we talked about Josh Kelly today, for example. Yeah. He took that. I don't think it was the case of that. He wasn't like he was going to go pay per view on the next fight, but that was he was definitely being built for that. Yeah. Um, Boatsy as well, you know, and it being pushed very fast. That's a tough fight now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then again, he also had a tough fight against um, Balotnik. Balotnik. A tough fight. Came through it. That, great matching. The the Avenizian fight for Kelly, can, you know when you when you match hard, you need to make sure that you've covered all bases. But you can't, you know. Avenizian showed in that fight that he was already at world level, whereas Josh was on the way yeah. up there. Once again, you know, there's fantastic matchmakers around Sky and Matchroom at the time. Um, so that's not down to that, but hey, you pick yourself up, you go again, you know, and um, you, you don't look at the record and say still undefeated and uh, think that's gonna that ain't gonna work for you. It it, it won't work, and um, it it rarely has worked in the sport. Um, yeah, says the man who built up loads of world champions in Germany yeah. <laughs> based on 40, 40 no records. <laughs> I've got, better be careful this glass house is looking really thin here yeah. <laughs> might even <laughs> pierce it with this bottle of water <laughs> you mentioned Josh Kelly I was just about to come on to him um, supreme talent really nice to see him back today I think I almost felt like he was almost a forgotten man after that of and he went away he said he had some I things to I think he wanted to go off and do his thing um, you know he was pushed and I think he wanted to be pushed um, but it, there was a lot of pressure. He said to me today, I said to him, just go and enjoy yourself, you know, this year we'll keep you active. But in those big fights, enjoy yourself. And um, I know that sounds odd uh, to say at boxing, <laughs> but, but, but you see when you perform, you know, um, natural fighters, they do enjoy themselves. Yeah. And, and Josh is a natural fighter, he's a natural talent. There's no doubt about it, no, no two ways about it. You know, he'll, he'll learn from their mistakes and that he made. But what, I mean, were they really mistakes? He just weren't up to that level yet. You know, it's simple as that. Yeah, Avenissian's a terrific fighter, a world world level fighter. Um, but when you look at the other names out Towards there, the end him, of his career. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's not like he's a spring chicken either. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what what age they say he is, but he's, 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 he's but he's he's, he, he's certainly a lot older than Josh and a lot a lot more experienced than Josh and fights from that part and I've I've had I've had I had the first Russian ever Russian heavyweight world champion in Baluev I had Povetkin after that dealt with a lot of Russian fighters and and a lot of those amateur records you see they don't represent the real amateur record that what they've done for because after fights they're not even down on the record not officially written down. Yeah, they're not even written down so if they said they had 200 amateur fights they're normally about 400 the other big names out there, I mean, when we look at Josh Kelly when we're looking at big fights, you've got the likes of Florian Marco, who's a big name, big ticket seller as well, makes a lot of noise. He just had a win over the weekend over Chris yeah. Jenkins. You've obviously, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm your counsellor, but you've got Conor Ben. Yeah. Um, are these are the type of fights you want to see Josh in with once he's got back into the swing of things and starts becoming more active, because activity is key. The one that, that Sky was building at the time, I felt, was, was, was the Ben fight, heading in that direction. Um, another man. Learning on the job, great, great guy, great, great talent, great prospect. Um, I think, I think on talent, uh, Josh is 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 ahead, but he's been active and he's he's learning on the job and he's yeah. doing a great job at it. You know, he's fighting family. You know, do I feel like this chair's moving? Is it me? I think I'm going to turn it around again. I feel like I'm spinning around here. Yeah, you're all right, you're all right. <laughs> um, so you know. There's lots of fights out there, and he yeah. said to himself today, he's not even sure between welter and super, and he's going to bob up and down. And he looked terrific today, yeah. really did. Um, saw all those weight rumours that I keep hearing. I hope he, uh, hope they all have a good look. Um, he looked fantastic, and um, I'm excited. I, yeah. well, with him, I'm really excited to stick it right up a few of the experts yeah really really excited with him that give you a proper buzz wing you know you can you got fucking be in your bonnet to go out and try and say you know what you were all wrong that's because 
I mean, you know, if if you were in any other job, career, profession, who would shoot down a young man yeah. or woman at that stage of their career? For what? Well, after he wants to be trying to make a bean on him, and then he's shot down. So it, I see it as as it's his time to perform, and hey, it's, uh, why not? Why not do that on a on Channel Five? And um, I think the experts, in the, you know, especially certain media experts who've written written him off, are you know. The back of one fight. Yeah, it's I mean, crazy. It's, it's, it's for me, it's bizarre. It's like I'll go take the risk, but if you lose, you know. And, and I, I think that some of those experts who were writing him up, they were suddenly were totally against him, you know. And I, I think that that's that's by the way, no criticism towards Sky or, or Matt Matram. I think they, I think they did a fantastic job with him, and it's more. You know, certain, I'm not going to say name, but certain, certain journalists have written him off, you know, and, and, you know, from that point of view, I think those experts, I hope we can make them eat the words. A humble pie. It's amazing. I was saying earlier, boxing seems to be the only sport where you have one loss and people say you've finished past yeah. it. But MMA, you can have six losses. They come back, pay per view headline. It's it's, a, it's mad, isn't it? This is such a unique way of thinking. It's crazy, craziness, craziness. Let's talk about some of the other talents that Wasserman had. I was at, I had the pleasure of seeing Matty Harris's highlight reel knockout the other night. Um, textbook, textbook. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Talk to me about how pleased you were with firstly him, Chloe and Jose's performances at the weekend. But start with Matty. That's, I wow. Think, yeah, I think. I mean, Matt, Matt he, you know, um, yeah, he's look, he's also learning on the job. He threw yeah. that uppercut. He did get caught a couple of times, which I didn't like. Um, but I'm now being really faulty, aren't I? You know, no, sorry, but he Matt. only had seven amateurs, I think he said, or something like he's, that. He's, but he has got the natural talents to go and be something very big. We, we know that. That's why we signed him. Um, Fantastic! What a what a show real knockout. I mean, I'm sure he's been bragging all over, yeah, all over the manor after <laughs> that. Um, Jose, um, I like, I love that. I love the fast hands. We need some weight off. It's not there yet. Um, it's it's getting there, but it's not there yet. Um, has to be the other side of twenty. Uh, yeah. And and you see that in terms of the hands work. The body wants to get behind it, and he needs, he's a big lad, and he'll always be a big lad. Yeah. But he can make that work for him. But it's got this. Some has got to go to do it. The hands, the hands are fantastic. You, know, fan, you can't ignore the hands; they are amazing. But right now, it's the, the you know the feet don't back it up, and it's uh, so for the, from that point of view. But activity, you know, yeah. and then we get that weight down again in a bit before the next fight, and then we we'll move from there, you know. Uh, but his hands are, are really amazing. I mean, you know, get, get that weight down a bit. It reminds me, real, he reminds me of a, of, a, of, a, of a big George, you know. Yeah. Um, there's still some way to go till we get there, but and Chloe, look, brilliant yeah, fight. What a little fight! She really is. Uh, she's such a gem, and, and I, I think we have big. Uh, if she doesn't become a world champion, I'll eat this bottle. Um, no, I mean, I mean it seriously. I think she's she's really, 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 really a special talent. Um, head in the right place, yeah. and. Um, someone who, who we're very excited to be with I mean you know we love that journey of going from O and O to world champion and, yeah. and uh, that, that's that's a real buzz yeah you've some unbelievable talents on that show last week um future's looking bright um right let's talk to you about what everyone's talked to you about um Chris Eubank Jr um talks of Kelbrook also they were talks of Kelbrook and Conor Ben but from what I've heard Eubank would be more likely from heard you speak in other interviews the issue everyone keeps talking about was weight, but I believe from what I've heard you say is weight won't be an issue when the, there is an agreement on a weight. Well, we have overcome that issue, I understand. Um, that we have an, a, a what weight then? Can't say that here. <laughs> can't say that now. I won't say that until we have a signed deal. Um, the weight is, is, is in place, but it's obviously, you know, like I said before, anxious to wait. Yeah, it's it's money. the money. And, uh, I think Kelvin in an interview even came out and said, show me the money. So, uh... Got to show him it then. <laughs> well, you know, who's... That's, that's, I'll you, I've got a good question for this. Who's the A-side in this fight? I, I, well, I mean, if you walk down... I know you've got... 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 I know you've got...
and ask um, the, the people. Um, I think outside of Sheffield, um, the rest of the UK would say you bank. Um, but yeah, by a long way. But Kells coming off the victory against um, against Amir, which was a fight that had been talked about for so many years that of course had a had a bigger effect than the new bank beating Williams the week before. Yeah. So you know, which was arguably a more competitive fight in the end and uh, and so it's you know, it, it, but that's not taking anything away from Kel. Um, you know, it's not it's not it's not about who I think of the A side is 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 can they find a deal with Sky, can we find a deal with Sky where we're both happy. What sort of likelihood in your mind right now as we sit here today because obviously you know what boxing is like it could change after 50, you finish this frigging interview 50-50 50-50 be a brilliant fight summer some big arena yeah, I mean, you know, June, July but yeah 50-50 and uh, this week we'll decide right let's talk Tyson Fury Dillian White I'm seeing a lot of talk on Twitter this morning a lot of people are convinced this fight isn't going to happen I don't know whether that's because there's not been a clear undercard announced I haven't got the foggiest as to why people think this wouldn't happen. Just because Dillian's making career high payday, so the, the whole fight won't happen. People are thinking this fight just won't nah, happen. It's happening unless it's, there's an injury. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, I mean, it's a huge payday. It's what Dillian's dream, 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 been pushing for for was it a thousand or something days, and so I, I don't know. I don't read really any. That's what called total nonsense. Unless there's. Um, um, Truly hope there isn't because that would uh, it was an amazing fight and a great advert for boxing and um, uh, outside of so you know the usual what can happen in boxing yeah, yeah. injuries <laughs> the, um, uh, the, that fight why wouldn't it take place no, I don't believe that rubbish for a minute no me me that um, how do you see the fight going. Um, Tyson obviously is going to this as a heavy favourite. For me, at the, but moment, at the moment, you know, Tyson Fury is the number one heavyweight. As simple as that. I think, uh, but I think it'll be a good fight. I think you know, White is such an improved heavyweight. Yes. Yeah? Um, he's improved. If I think about like even you know, the first Del Boy fight, which I thought Derek won, um, was a. Uh, you know, he was getting hit too much. Uh, he's really upped his game, um, and this is his moment. You know, this is what his moment. So he'll be relying on that. You know, at, at the moment you saw, you saw like the Wileen performance of of, yes. of that, that that Tyson don't get up for it. I can't see that happening at Wembley Stadium. Not with all them people. Though. Nah, it's just too big an event. So, um, but it's heavyweight boxing. Yeah. Anything can happen, as we all know. Tyson has been down before. Um, and what I hear from people in camp who's trained with, with Dillian is he's a ferocious puncher. Um, I think massively underrated as a puncher in the weight class. Yeah. And we know that Tyson has gone down in the past and you know does his undertaker and sort of stands back up out of nothing. Um, you know, throw, we talk about throwback fires. That that's it. Really is Tyson. Um, so yeah, I I, I I I mean I'm 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 game. I love that fight. I think it's a great yeah. fight. It really intrigues me. Hundred percent. Look, Kala, thanks for talking to Into Boxing. Appreciate your time and you. uh, congrats on the success of this. And it's going to be a great show. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.